Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the seventh video of the uh, series of acute and chronic inflammatory dermatosis. This will describe lac and planus, and uh, these are the references for this video. Lac and planus is uh, another entity that is included in chronic inflammatory dermatosis. It is a cell-mediated immune reaction at dermal epidermal junction. Uh, Lacunoid tissue reaction is a term that is applied to clinical lesions that resemble certain lichens that form a scaly growth on rock or tree trunk. These uh, lichens are basically these lichens that are on the rock or tree trunk are uh, complex life forms and these are uh, uh, the collection of algae and uh, fung fungi that live in symbiotic relationship with each another and uh, they do not take their nutrients from uh, the tree or from the rock but uh, they live symbiotically and uh, the lesion that resemble these lichens are termed as lichenoid tissue lesions. The lichen planus that is the prototype of the uh, of a group of diseases is uh, is uh, described by famous tongue twister for lichen planus that are six P's that are prodytic, purple, polygonal, planar, papule, and plaques. This is a self-limited disease that resolves spontaneously within one to two years after the onset and uh, it uh, resolve and resolution often leaves a residuum of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. However, the lesion of the oral mucous membrane persists for years after the, after the disease uh, subsides. The complication is squamous cell carcinoma that sometimes arises from the chronic mucosal and paramucosal lichen planus and uh, Kobner phenomena can be seen uh, like uh, seen in the psoriasis it can also be seen in lichen planus. As I told you earlier this is a group of disorder and the prototype of these disorder is lack and planus uh, other type of uh, these include lichen nitidus and lichenoid drug eruption some of the cases of lichen planus are familiar while the lichen planus is also associated with autoimmune disorders such as systemic lupus erythematosus and myasthenia gravis while it is uh, commonly seen associate, associated with ulcerative colitis Drugs such as chlorothiazides, uh, gold and chloroquine uh, produce lichenoid lesions. External agents such as uh, photographic chemicals are also associated with lichen planus like lesion. And uh, infections, the hepatitis C infection may coexist with this uh, uh, lichen lesion. The later stages of graft versus host disease may exhibit the lesions of lichen planus. The pathogenetic mechanism of lichen planus is not very well known, but, uh, but an immune mediated response has been proposed. And uh, it is considered that this lichen planus is a delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction and uh, there is expression of an altered antigen in the basal uh, cell layer and due to this this uh, there is destruction of these basal cells and this is mediated by uh, cytotoxic T cells and initially as a result of this destruction there is a decrease in cell turn over time that that uh, uh, then responds reactively and then there is hyperplasia of these cells. So the 
T cells that are that invade this area they secrete interleukin 6 and gamma interferon and not only these T cells produce these two cytokines but the activated or the the uh, activated cells epidermal cells also produce these cytokines and these are responsible for the damage so this illustration is describing the pathogenetic mechanism of the lichen planus due to unknown causative agents such as drug virus or tropical agent there is a uh, uh, there is damage to the keratinocyte and uh, an antigen that uh, is here now is processed through the Langerhans cell. This Langerhans cell process the foreign antigen and uh, then is responsible for proliferation of the lymphocytes in the papillary dermis. There is, uh, there is activation of macrophages also and as a result there is damage to the uh, epidermis especially the basal layer of the epidermis and uh, the activation of the macrophages along with the T lymphocytes uh, they are responsible for the for the uh, development of <coughs> fibrillary bodies and reactive epidermal proliferation the cutaneous lesion of the lichen planus are itchy violaceous flat top papule and these papule may uh, merge together and form plaques the wickham stri are uh, the white dots or line that uh, make the papule prominent and these are created by areas of hypergranulosis the dark brown colored lesion are also seen in lichen planus and these are due to release of melamine into the dermis as a result of damage to the basal layer. The lesion of the lichen planus are distributed uh, uh, symmetrically and they are multiple in number. Extremities, wrist and elbows are affected commonly and glans penis is another site that is involved by this disease. The mucosal lesion in 70% of the uh, cases mucosal lesions are also seen and these are uh, present in the oral mucosa usually and uh, white reticulated or net like appearance. This is the gross picture of the lesion of the lichen planus. Here the lesions are multiple pororetic papule with uh, pink to violaceous appearance and uh, these lesions are usually symmetrically distributed and uh, most often the site is elbow and wrist. Another common site is glans penis. This linear arrangement of the lichenoid lesion uh, is the example of Kobner phenomena. The Kobner phenomena also occur in psoriasis and uh, in this a lesion appear following trauma and uh, this lesion appear on the skin uh, following trauma at the site of the trauma. The white dots or lines are known as Wickham stri. So this is the gross appearance of the mucosal lesion of the lichen planus. These are reticulated or net-like lesions that persist for years after the, uh, this, the resolution of the skin lesion that resolve within one to two years and the skin lesion leave a hyperpigmented area. While nail findings are also seen in 10% of the cases uh, and in this picture, there is longitudinal growing and uh, ridging is seen also on icolysis and subungual hyperkeratosis are also noted. 
Now the morphology of the lichen planus, the dermoepidermal junction has got the more pronounced feature and uh, there is dense continuous infiltrate by the lymphocyte and hence this condition is a prototype of the interface dermatitis. The basal keratinocytes, they lie intimately with the lymphocyte and there is degeneration and necrosis of the basal keratinocyte and uh, the viable basal keratinocyte, they are uh, more in size and contour to like a mature cell of the stratum spin spinosum. Hence, they, these are called squamatized or this condition is called squamatization of the basal layer of the epidermis. So, due to the destructive effect of the lymphocytic infiltrate, this uh, uh, dermoepidermal junction has got more angulated or sharp appearance and uh, this is termed as sort of thing of the uh, retirages, sort of thing of the retirages. The enucleate necrotic basal cell, they may become incorporated into the superficial uh, papillary dermis and uh, they are globular fibrillary eosinophilic bodies that are 15 to 20 micron in size and these are termed as fibrillary bodies, colloid bodies or keyweight bodies. Actually, these are the collections of, uh, of uh, keratin filaments. Plasma cells are absent, but uh, if plasma cells are there, the condition may be due to lichenoid actinic keratosis that is a form of epidermal hyperplasia. So, there is epidermal hyperplasia, epidermal atrophy that is rarely seen, hypergranulosis and hyperkeratosis. Now, other photobiograph that are showing the morphological features of lichen planus. There is band-like lymphocytic infiltrate that is disrupting the basal layer of the epidermis. The retiriges are also angulated or sharpened and uh, these these are like sawtooth. So, this is termed as sawtooth thing of the uh, retiriges. Unlike lupus erythematosus, there is epidermal hyperplasia, hyperkeratosis and wedge-like hypergranulosis. Then the, this uh, high power view is showing that there is loss of, hype, the loss of retiriges along with hypergranulosis and there is interface dermatitis as we have seen earlier that this lichen planus is in prototype of interface dermatitis and uh, these the, their, these lymphocytes that are there they have got uh, they have surrounded many apoptotic keratinocytes these apoptotic cells apoptotic cells are marked by these arrows this is another high power view of uh, the biopsy specimen for lichen planus. Here, the orthokeratotic hyperkeratosis is marked and also there is irregular acanthosis. There, the band-like upper dermal infiltrate of cytotoxic T cell is also seen along with destruction of the retiriges or sort of thing of the retiriges.